<laughs> hey guys, um, it's Corinne. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to speak on our manifestations, um, particularly as it relates to money since we're doing our seven day manifest money challenge. I wanted to talk about persistence and what to do when you don't see any results and you don't see any movement. So um, if you haven't signed up already, I'll be sure to add the link to this description uh, for our Manifest Money team. Now, this is what I find can happen to anybody. It's likely that it will happen to you. Anytime you are shifting your identity, changing from one state of being to another state of being, or identifying with not having money to having a certain amount of money, or not being in a good relationship to being in this relationship that you want to be, sometimes you can get some movement and some progress. You know, say you're manifesting money and your goal is to receive more sales in your store or your goal is to um, receive more income of some variety. And maybe you get a little movement one day, no movement the next day, no movement the next day. What do you do when you're not seeing the results that you want? And my answer to that, I have found, is to persist. Persist, persist, persist. Persist in your new story. Um, we get to choose. We get to choose what we identify with. And although you may not see change in your external world, you do not have to be a slave to your senses. You do not have to judge your actions or your next move by what you see in the outside world. So I want you to try this tip because it worked for me and I'm so happy that it did and I feel so much better. So I had a little issue pop up uh, two days ago, an unexpected expense coming from a business that I'm in the process of dissolving. And it just rocked my world because basically it was a it was an expense that I wasn't expecting. And so it made me feel like, how am I going to deal with this? This is interfering with my life. And, you know, it's unexpected. So I thought about what would the solution be? What's the answer? What do I want? Okay, I don't have to choose that I have a problem. I don't have to mull over this all day. Um, I literally felt paralyzed, to be quite honest with you. I didn't want to work. I didn't want to market my other business. I just felt a little deflated, so to speak. And I was like, I have to snap out of this. I cannot let this one email rule my world. I know that I have to address it. I know that I need to take care of it because um, this issue cropped up earlier than expected. I thought we were going to be dealing with this in October. So I thought about what do I want? What's the resolution? And it was having a certain amount of money that did not affect my personal and it didn't affect my new business. I wanted to have a certain sum of money come into my life so that I didn't have to deal with it and it didn't affect me. And um, I thought, well, what would it feel like if I just got this money, right? And it was done. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would be so happy. So I started saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing me that this issue is already resolved right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing me that it's done. And it felt better. It felt better. And our affirmations help us change our inner conversation. So if your inner story is, oh my gosh, how can I deal with this? what am I going to do? You almost, at least for me, you can't really move on in your world because you're stuck. You feel stuck. So resolve the issue in your mind. And that is exactly what I did. I resolved it in my mind. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you that this issue is now resolved and I'm able to proceed with the rest of my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you that it is already done. And I encourage you to use those mantras too. Neville Goddard used an affirmation called, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? And you can say that for like five minutes until you begin to laugh, but you can add a couple um, 
specific to the end of the isn't it wonderful mantra isn't it wonderful that this issue is now resolved isn't it wonderful that it's all taken care of isn't it wonderful that it's done it's done it's done and so i want you all to remember that we get to choose what we identify with now a key note in this story is i did get, <laughs> i did get the financial re relief that i needed that came out of the blue um, I was trying to figure it out and then bam, um, someone reached out to me, saw what I was doing with my businesses and wanted to support me. And so, um, I am, I've, I've received exactly what I needed to cover this unexpected BS that occurred within a matter of two days. Um, so the other thing is that I want you to know is that you get to affirm the way that you want it to be. You do not have to accept the reality the way it is. You can claim what you want to be and use your affirmations to shift your inner feeling and try out this technique. What would it feel like five minutes after you get what you want? It is this feeling of relief. So go back to that. If you are struggling, if you have something that requires immediate attention, one thing I put in that course is to brainstorm ways that you can make money because oftentimes when we feel desperate or we feel pressed or we just can't we're in this really low vibrational state and it we almost can't see through the fog but once you start to turn the wheels of well what can i do and and start to shift your inner conversation to it's already done and take some action that you can take to help move towards it things actually happen for you once i got myself out of that state i said you know what i'm going to continue to market and promote my other business i'm going to keep moving forward and then bam what i needed came to me and i'm so thankful that it did and i just wanted to share this story and encourage everyone to um keep persisting regardless of what you see and try to put yourself in the state of what would you what would it feel like five minutes after you received your manifestation how would you feel after what would you say what would that inner conversation sound like and use those as affirmations you know isn't it wonderful that this issue is now resolved and now i can move on that gives us the ability to naturally think from the state of our wish fulfilled because when you're thinking from the state that it's already done you do different things now that this issue is so resolved in my mind I was able to get back to work on my other projects I energetically wasn't all bottled up and worried in a state of fear I was able to pull myself out of it and move forward and I want that for you guys I want everyone to know that we get to choose we get to choose and yes it may take a look little bit of time but the world will conform to you because you are the boss of your reality we are always creating our reality so no matter what you see just keep persistent and act as if you already have everything that you want because in your inner world is your real power your god self so you do have it you claim it you declare it and you act as if thank you guys